What's up, YouTube? This is Blackie Lebowski, the dude who says what you're thinking and what everybody else is thinking, but, you know, a lot of people don't want to say. Blackie Lebowski. I've been watching this stupid fuck for a while. And I was going to wait to address this individual and all of his failings at life here on YouTube because I've got something special planned for him. But after his recent stupidity, I couldn't stay silent anymore. While I've still got special plans for this worthless cocksucker, I'd figure I'd give him a little taste of what's in store for his punk ass by simply addressing his latest video, showing the depths of this man-child's idiocy. But before I start, since I know this pussy-ass motherfucker has a prior history of flagging videos that show him to be the absolute idiot that he is, I'm gonna issue out a warning. Actually, it's more of a dare. Blackie, I dare you to flag this video, cause it does fall under fair use, and if you do flag it, I will file a counterclaim. You best believe that shit. And if you think this shit is a joke and you could just file DMCA complaints willy nilly, I'd like to point you in the direction of one Michael Crook who attempted to file a DMCA complaint against a site known as Tenzen Monkeys for having an image of him on their site while making fun of his stupid ass. Crook and the site owner went to court, and here was the result. My name is Michael Crook, and as part of the settlement of the case between Jeff Deal and myself, I'm here to state my regret for misusing the Digital Millennial Copyright Act to take down speed shots of myself on the Fox News channel. The appearance took place in early 2005, almost two years ago. When I filed the DMCA notices, I did not have any fraudulent intent, nor did I do it in an attempt to shut Mr. Deal's TenZenMonkeys.com site down. I had an honest belief that one could control their image when it was used contrary to the original intent. I now know this belief to be incorrect by fact and law. In other words, the appearance on Hannity and Combs was very embarrassing for me. I would like to forget it. When Mr. Deal chose to use it to attack me from my Craigslist pervert site, a site that is now down, I felt it was unfair, and I filed the DMCA complaint because he did not approach me for permission, nor did the article discuss the image itself. What I did was wrong. I formally apologized to all bloggers, webmasters, and other individuals who were compelled to take measures as a result of the DMCA complaints pertaining to the Hannity and Combs appearance, which I now see were filed without merit. I could have left comments on any of Deal's pages where I was criticized, but I did not. I could have answered specific claims of his own on my blog, but I did not. Essentially, I stepped on his free speech rights while attempting to protect my image. I, I firmly believe that he chose the photograph in an attempt to attack and unduly humiliate me based on my opinions. Even so, he is protected under free speech rights. Do I think it's fair? No, but it's legal. Deal was protected by fair use, and furthermore, I did not have a right to submit the DMCA for screenshots pertaining to the appearance on Fox News Channel. Although it was an image of me, the copyright belonged to Fox News Channel. Who knew you can't control your own image? It was not my intent to disrupt Mr. Deal's operations, and I would highly suggest to anyone that they read up on the details of the DMCA before they submit one on their own. Mr. Deal is running a business, and it's important to ensure that if you are going to submit a claim that could impact a business such as the DMCA, that you are correct in doing so. The DMCA is a valuable asset when used properly. Hopefully people will look at this as a learning experience for all involved, especially myself. The best advice is that if you want to maintain complete control over the use of your likeness, don't voluntarily appear on TV and don't consent to have your photograph taken. Wrong or right, it is what it is. And it is my hope that people do not hold my handling of the situation against the DMCA. So go ahead, flag this video. I'll file a counterclaim and we'll see how far you're willing to go. And in the event you want to take me to court over this video, I'll call your bluff, and not only will you end up just like this douchebag, but I'll make sure to take your life savings to the point where you won't be able to make any more of your stupid fucking bullshit tripe videos. And with that out of the way, let's begin. What's up, YouTube? This is Blackie Lebowski, the dude who says what you're thinking and what everybody else is thinking, but, you know, a lot of people don't want to say... Yeah, I certainly was never thinking about using the recent tragic Paris attacks to spew anti-PS4 propaganda in order to contribute to a childish bullshit console war on YouTube. Because I actually have some tact and class, so you're already off to a bad start. But let's continue anyway. Let's get it in. A few videos ago, there's a bunch of hypocrites, I swear to God. 
if the shoe was on the other foot, if the Xbox One was receiving this bad press with the whole I ISIS shit, the media would run with it. They'd have the Xbox One Photoshop with a beard and a motherfucking towel around the thing and beheading something. I swear to God, that'd be on IGN or Kotaku. See, this is part of the reason why I don't get involved with console war bullshit. Because of the stupid shit coming out of the mouths of these retarded ass fanboys who think that because their precious Xbox One exclusives don't get the second coming of Christ praise from all the big gaming publications that these fanboys use to justify their purchase of a hunk of plastic, might I add, that must mean there's a media bias against the Xbox One. To the point where these media sites would be so tasteless as to link the Xbox One and ISIS together in the classless manner in which this dumbass described. Unfucking believable. And about those two websites he mentioned, IGN didn't post shit about it. Which I guess he could somehow use to prove his idiotic media bias point. But Kotaku sure did. Tell you what, we'll get back to that. All the YouTubers be running wild with it. Oh, you don't need an Xbox. Look at how bad this thing is. It's horrible. Been saying it the entire time. The entire time. And that's 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 the key words. Because the entire time, this generation, it's been okay to bash the Xbox. And to shit on it. And to fucking talk shit about it. And just do everything you can to hold it down. And yet the only people that have even remotely brought this up here on YouTube are you and Lair. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant Zaire. Two of the worst, most useless fucking retards on this site. Drone Crusher hasn't brought this up. Mooch hasn't brought this up. Hell, even Crap Gamer, arguably the biggest Microsoft cocksucker on this site, isn't going anywhere near this topic. Let that sink in. Crap. Fucking. Gamer. One of the most anti-Sony guys on YouTube won't even stoop this low. So yeah, even your own fellow fantards aren't willing to be so tasteless and classless by jumping on that grenade. Like I said, let that sink in. You are so ass hurt about what other people say about your plastic preference that you're willing to stoop to levels that your fellow fanboys will not dare tread. But the PlayStation 4, I've been sitting here the entire time like, why is nobody saying this shit? It's not helping, it's not helping Sony at all, whatever, but okay, so now... This is some bad press, this is some really bad press, this is the worst press you can get you have terrorists on your fucking console get the fuck over it what the fuck I, I didn't fucking i'm not a fucking terrorist on the ps4 don't be mad at me don't be mad at me bitch that's that's your shit okay and if it happens it happens and blackie lebouse is gonna say something about it and you can get the fuck over you fucking faggot get the fuck out of here with that bullshit if it was on the xbox one well, people would be running wild with it Oh, you can't use a tragic event like this to fuel to fuel a fanboy war. And that's not what I'm doing. I'm simply stating the fact. And now we come to the point where I figuratively decapitate this stupid fucktard in front of everybody. I bet my entire upcoming tax return that Blackie made his ISIS slash anti-PS4 propaganda video because he watched Zaire's stupid fucking video about it, where Zaire linked the article from Forbes magazine that reported the story. A Forbes article that has since been amended with a retraction, might I add. Which brings me to that Kotaku article I alluded to earlier which elaborates on how potentially full of shit the Forbes article was to begin with, stating that the person that was interviewed who made the statements about ISIS using the PS4 to coordinate attacks made said statements three days before the attacks took place, and they were merely speaking in general terms. But you know what? Forget all that. Let's say for argument's sakes that they do use PS4s for their terrorist needs. You know what else they use? Twitter. Or at least they used to use it before Anonymous fucked their shit up. 
So since ISIS has been confirmed to use Twitter as a means of conducting their terrorist activities, surely Blackie Lebowski's staunch anti-PS4 beliefs based on the same principles would carry over to Twitter. Oh, wait. Oops. So I guess by Blackie Lebowski's logic, he supports terrorism by being on a social media site that they used. And if you don't believe me that it's his logic, here it is straight from the man-child's mouth, taken from his ISIS anti-PS4 video. If you support that shit, man, you might as well be on the fucking same team as ISIS, man. You heard it here, folks. By his own admitted logic, you support PS4, you support ISIS simply because they use it for their terrorist agenda. So, that means, because they use Twitter for the same thing, Blackie Lebowski supports ISIS by using Twitter. It don't matter if you delete that Twitter account now after the fact, Blackie. You're fucking exposed. I doubt you will anyway. You'll probably just try to damage control this with some whopper jawed bullshit logic. That, or you'll just sell a bunch of worthless wolf tickets about me being a weirdo or some other bullshit. Or you'll try to flag this video down. Choose whatever door you want, because they all lead to massive exposure. If you want to talk about somebody using a tragic event to fuel a fanboy war, let's talk about Black Bond and fucking Hard Eight calling people pedophiles. Let's talk about that shit for a second. You want to talk about, think how, think what that, what that entails, how fucking horrible and disgusting that shit is. They freely say that shit all the time. Like, pedophile, pedophile. But that's not a tragic event fueling some console war agenda. I don't know what the fuck is. This is simply some fucking news. News that I've already shown to pretty much be bullshit. As far as pedophiles go, there's only three people that I know of that have been called that on this site. Zaire, Drone Crusher, and Fat Gamer. Zaire wasn't called a pedophile based on any console preference, you dumb shit. He was called a pedophile because he posted a link to some child porn in a Skype conversation. And um, I told Nick, I said, how do you flag shit on Facebook? I said, y'all, do me a favor. Flag this here also, you know what I mean? Because this shit is like, you know, this shit needs to come down or, or whatever the case may be. <laughs> um, that's it. I said, y'all, do me a favor. Flag this here also, you know what I mean? Because this shit is like, you know, this shit needs to come down or, or whatever the case may be. <laughs> um, that's it. Nothing more needs to be said about that. That gamer, once again, was not called a pedophile due to any console preference. He was called that because he posted hentai of underage girls on a Facebook group dedicated to underage hentai girls. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm just here to expose um, Fat Gamer. Um, I forgot his name. Uh, what was his number? Fucking whatever. His name is Fat Gamer. We all know Kenneth Wells. And uh, <laughs> wow. For a married man that uploads hentai pictures, what the fuck is this? Fucking this this bitch is all cut up, really? Wow! <laughs> Fucking exposed. Look at this shit, man. I'm just gonna scroll down really fast so I don't get striked down. Wow. Now, I'm pretty sure Drone Crusher was called a pedophile because he supposedly ran the Facebook page I just displayed, but since I don't have any real proof of that, I'm not going to flat out say the man is a pedophile. I don't recall anybody calling Brodeo a pedophile, nor has anybody called Arsenal a pedophile. These are two Xbox supporters you conveniently forgot to mention that nobody says any of that shit to. So as I just proved, Nobody is calling anybody pedophiles based on any console preference. Actually, no, I told a lie. I take that back. 
Your own boy, Zaire, has alluded to Nintendo fans being pedophiles because they play what he calls kids games. If you guys know who I'm talking about, I'm going to give you a hint. What's his name? Uh, Sandusky or Trey Dusky? You know, he got caught having uh, adult relations with minor, you know, under the age boys in his basement making them play, you know, Mario games. He has, you know, like a bald head. You know, his hair, his hair is receding or something like that. He has like a, a, a gap in his mouth that I think he uses that gap to perform oral sex and other underage gamers or something like that. Men of the same sex. Like, that don't tell you, like, that this is some kiddie shit. Like, you know, I'm just being real. Like, they don't even have midnight launchers. And be, why? Because Nintendo don't want kids out there at night, again, getting these, you know, games. But they don't even have, like I say, even like he did a video, and I'm not disrespecting this dude. He did a video saying, thank you, Nintendo, for putting in the game chat to talk to people in the lobby. You know, 99.9% of the people that are inside that lobby are going to be children. Now I see why Nintendo, and I got I was wrong. Now I see why they, they didn't want people like him talking to their kids in the lobby, you know, but they got to be on their friends list. And I can see why. That would probably be kind of, you know... Pissed off. I was coming to the house and my daughter was playing the Wii U, and and she's on there talking to the doctor. I I I would probably be a little perturbed. Like what the fuck? Like what? Do, I'd be like, dude, this is a kids' game, motherfucker. You know, that's what I would say. Like I would be like, like literally, like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? This game here is for children. Why you got your grown ball head ass in here playing with a bunch of foyos? And I would say this, like seriously, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? I, you know, I could see, like I said, uh, uh, you know, I take my hat off to you, Yoshida. You know, I'm sorry, Iwata and Reggie Deezy, I, 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 I see now. Because it's a problem. It's a fucking problem. And what I find really hilarious about this is that I'm pretty sure you made a video back when you were known as Ash Villain where you got so butt hurt over people calling you a pedophile over liking Nintendo games that you flashed your firearms over the internet in the most pathetic internet tough guy display ever recorded in human history. And this is the one thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is my new little pistol that I got. It's a very good pistol. This is a Smith & Wesson 637 38 Special Revolver. As you can see, the gun is unloaded. But this is something that I'm into, big time. And I love Nintendo games. So you think that you're going to come around me and talk and call me some type of pedophile motherfucker or tell me I'm a bitch because I like Nintendo and you like Call of Duty? Knowing that I have something like this? Think about that. Think how stupid you fucking people are. How you fucking talk and run your fucking mouths and talk all this bullshit. And the fact is, you do it on YouTube because in real life, there's people like me who exist, who have shit like this, and more shit like this sitting right under my fucking desk, or whatever the fuck, who will fuck you up for talking some old bullshit. So how come you ain't threatening your boy Zaire over implying that you were a pedophile for liking Nintendo games? Oh, that's right. Because you just switched your loyalties to the Xbox when you made a new YouTube account. And you're pretending your love of Nintendo never happened. If that ain't some mentally disturbed shit, I don't know what is. And now my Blackie Lebowski's indirect death threat makes Next Gen 720 shake with fear video has come full circle. Like it was always meant to. Remember people... There are usually multiple reasons why I do the things I do on YouTube. And my heart goes out to the people who are involved with that shit. It sucks. But it, it doesn't affect me so hardcore. I guess like people are trying to pretend that it's affecting them. Because I lived through 9-11. The world stopped when those buildings fell in Manhattan. It stopped. Okay, 10 years from now, you can say, you remember the terrorist attacks in Paris? I remember, but I'm not going to remember the exact day. I'm not going to. People in Paris will. It's horrible. But get the fuck out of here acting like that's the worst shit you've ever seen or heard of. Cops are killing people every day. It's worse than any terrorism event I've ever seen. You have motherfuckers dying in, in cities and in, in ghettos. They're getting killed like fucking flies.
Like, nobody gives a fuck. That shit's a real problem. You got homeless people fucking everywhere. You got all types of epidemics. So keep it real with yourself. You don't be fucking stupid, man. You're right. We here in the States really aren't affected by what happened in Paris, if you think about it. Doesn't mean that a tragic event that has claimed hundreds of lives should be used to push your agenda regarding a specific piece of plastic over some dumb shit piece of plastic war. Seriously, console wars stopped being of any importance around upper middle school level. Yet you have grown ass men like Lebowski here engaging in this childish nonsense. There comes a time where it's time to put away childish things. And for the record, I'm not just speaking about the Xbox fanboys. I'm talking about all console fanboys who are engaged in the stupid conflict of trying to prove which piece of plastic is the best. It's fucking pathetic. I think Angry Joe said it best. I'm a gamer. I, I don't... I don't really engage. You know, console wars were fun when I was like 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish this shit fest of a video, shall we? The bad press is on the PS4, and so is the fact that it has no fucking games, and the motherfuckers who use it are literally, I swear to God, they're the biggest assholes in the whole world, man. You, you see it in my comment section. Every fucking day, every time I do a video, they're, they're typing essays. It's like, how much hate in your heart? How dumb is your stupid fucking console have to be if you're on motherfucking YouTube every day typing essays trying to defend this motherfucker instead of enjoying it? So fucking deal with it if ISIS uses this bitch. That's, this, that, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's getting better for you. Nothing. And it's, to me, that shit is hilarious. Is the fucking terrorist attacks funny? Is that shit funny? Hell no. Hell fucking no. Is it funny that your console looks even more like shit? Yes, it's hilarious. I'm out this bitch. And how much hate do you have to have for a piece of plastic, an inanimate object, and the people that support it, that you're going to attempt to use a tragic event that claimed hundreds of lives, regardless of it happening in another country a thousand miles away, just so you can promote your agenda against said piece of plastic? Like I said, it's fucking unbelievable. Whew. Alright, we finally reached the end of this sad sack of a video, and it's time for me to take my bow and leave until next time. All I gotta say to you, Blackie, uh, is... Great exposure. What? Huh? Blackie Lebowski made another video after this. Bl Blackie Lebowski made another video. Yes, he did. So you need to rip that one apart, too. What? Oh, fuck me running. What's up, YouTube? This is Blackie Lebowski. Welcome back. I wanted to say this again so the whole world can really hear it. My heart, my sympathies, my prayers go out to those affected by the tragedies in Paris and all over the world. Okay? I, I don't even like driving by roadkill. Okay? And yet you have such appalling disrespect for those affected by said tragedy by making it about a means to trash the piece of plastic that is the main competition for your preferred piece of plastic. And all I was saying is that you're an asshole if you're an American boasting your chest about the PS4 still today. You're an asshole. It has no games. They're bringing heavy rain next year. Come on, man. Really? And then you hear about ISIS possibly using the PS4. If I had a PS4, I would be done at that point. There, there is no going back for me. Because I'm, I'm going to distance myself away from it. If it was the fucking Xbox, the same thing would happen. I don't care. It's fucking terrorists. I'm out. I'm fucking out. I don't like these motherfuckers. Keyword. Possibly. He even said it from his own fucking mouth. Yet in his previous video, he stated that he was reporting it as if it was factual fucking news. Contradictive fraud detected. Also, like I said before, you need to get off Twitter then. Because it is 100% factually confirmed that they were using it as a means of conducting their terrorist activities before Anonymous came in and wrecked their shit. And lo and behold, I see you're still using Twitter. Hypocritical fraud confirmed. And so that's all I'm saying. You have some men on YouTube who were raised without fathers. 
Black Vaughn and Hard Eight are the two that I'm talking about. And so they're making up a bunch of shit. They don't know the hole that they're digging for themselves, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Something I noticed about Blackie Lebowski. He is fucking obsessed with his own father. He'll mention him out of left fucking field, talking about how his dad raised him and all this other shit. His dad is to him what grandmothers are to Zaire. And since nobody has gone there yet, I sure as hell will. Blackie, if this is the way your father taught you how to behave and handle yourself in the real world, then your father failed you as a parent. And if his dad taught him this bullshit, then your grandfather failed your father as a parent. Period. You've gone on and on about how your father taught you about respect to the point where you think you're entitled to it and we're just going to give it to you because you think you're entitled to it. Newsflash, motherfucker, that's not the way the world works. Respect is earned, and from where I'm sitting, you ain't earned shit in respect points. Only thing you've earned is a lifetime of being clowned. So yeah, if this is how your father raised you, he failed as a parent, and he should be absolutely fucking ashamed. They're, they're saying a bunch of shit, and they got people going on my channel saying things like they want to kill me. Because they're so upset now for what I said. And even if my opinion was what you whatever you think it was, and it was, you know, you didn't like it, is, is that a reason to say you want to kill me? It's freedom of speech, asshole. That is, that is absolutely pure terrorism. You want to kill somebody for something that they said, for their opinion. That is fucking terrorism. That's funny seeing as how I seem to recall countless times where you've threatened physical harm and even death upon people here on YouTube for their opinions about you. And now he's stating that his ISIS anti-PS4 video was merely an opinion, but in the previous video he said he was reporting the news, meaning making an attempt at a factual claim. This guy can't even keep track of his own bullshit. And if it's coming from these channels is follow the hate. Black Bond. I mean, what the fuck does that say? Hard eight calling people pedophiles and shit. These two guys did not grow up without fathers. They did not grow up without fathers? You have some men on YouTube who were raised without fathers. Black Bond and Hard Eight are the two that I'm talking about. Well, now we can add him not being able to speak properly. Either that, or he's so mad and mind-fucked by these two people that his mind can't even properly organize what he's saying due to him being so flustered. If you can fucking lie and gossip enough to get people to actually be mad at somebody, talking about a console, then the actual fucking tragedy that happened over in Paris, because that's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, that's exactly what you did when you made your video linking ISIS to the PS4, you hypocritical brain dead motherfucker. You sure weren't talking about the tragedy in Paris. Instead, you were more concerned with linking ISIS to the PS4 to push your anti-PS4 propaganda. Did your father drop you on your head when you were a child? Because that sure would explain a lot and would further show what a failure of a parent he was to you. You fucking assholes on Black Bond's channel, on Hard Ace's channel, you're more, you're more fucking concerned with the people trying to fuel a, a console war agenda than the actual motherfuckers who could possibly be coming into this country to fuck us up, man. That whole refugee shit is real. My guns are ready to kill terrorists. Are yours? <laughs> oh, trust me, Blackie. We know full well your guns are ready. But you ain't gonna be killing any terrorists. Or at least what we normal people consider terrorists. 
No, instead you'll target all the people on the internet that have clowned your ass into oblivion whom you've labeled terrorists. Hoo boy. But in all seriousness, if it came down to ISIS invading us, Blackie, I bet you wouldn't do a goddamn thing. Why? Because you claim you're man enough to wield a firearm and kill somebody, yet you don't seem to be man enough to take the well-deserved negative comments people left on your ISIS anti-PS4 video, and instead, you decided to disable comments on said video. You ain't man enough to even want to look at bad YouTube comments, let alone endure them, yet I'm supposed to believe you're man enough to take a human life if push comes to shove? And you want to talk about other people raised by females? Just further proof your father failed you as a parent. What the fuck are you doing for the country, motherfucker? Oh yeah, you watch Black Bond and I'm evil and bad because I have guns. I'd be the motherfucker to save your ass. Let's be honest with ourselves here. If Blackie Lebowski was in a shootout with ISIS terrorists and he somehow spots Black Bond, he's going to turn his attention away from the terrorists and start shooting at Black Bond. Because that's how much Bond has gotten into this man's mind. Assuming, of course, he has the testicular fortitude to shoot at anybody. But guess what? Black Bond, he don't have a gun. He was he didn't have a father to teach him how to fucking use one or to respect it. He sees a gun and he's he's he thinks of getting robbed like a female or some stupid shit. He gets scared, his pussy gets wet. Black Bond, when his mom was on the rag and she was getting her fucking her tampons, he had his own set of tampons. Now I'm on my rag too. You didn't grow up you grew up without a father, Black Bond. I can tell this. Heartache, same thing. You talk like a fucking grandma. Like you, you, uh, you were obviously raised by. You had no father figure, no male fucking mo role model whatsoever. Look at how y'all talk. Look how you talk. Look how you act. How much you want to bet if this clown ever sees this video, he's gonna say the same exact thing about me. You watch. This is gonna be his new thing now. Everybody that calls him out on his stupidity grew up without a father figure. It's going to become his version of Zaire fucking somebody's grandmother. And I find it funny that, once again, you conveniently leave Zaire out of the equation, considering he was raised by his grandmother. I wonder what your boy's thoughts are on those comments you just made, given how he was raised. Black Bond in a video nine minutes, literally, after I fucking posted mine yesterday. You you weren't getting head. You weren't fucking doing anything cool. You didn't have your dick in some hot chick. You weren't doing nothing but sitting there at your computer waiting for something to respond to. Like an old lady in one of them community complexes who's, who's staring out the fucking window, looking at the neighbor, wondering where she's going whenever she leaves and what she has when she comes back. And who she seen when she was gone. That's you. Funny considering the quickness on your part to respond to Bond's videos, like clockwork, like the ass hurt dipshit you are. You had no fathers, and I think that shit is hilarious. Because you know what? You're gonna grow up, you're gonna you're fucking you're gonna go through life and you're gonna be like this the entire time. You're never gonna fucking wake up one day and realize how fucking stupid you are and how stupid the people around you are. You're never going to do that. That shit to me, that's funny to me. <laughs> you fucking faggots need your... I swear to God, dude, I don't care if you were raised by women. I'm going to fucking do the world a favor. If I ever see the one of you, I'm knocking your teeth down your fucking throat, man. That ain't no threat. That's a fucking promise. And Blackie Lebowski just violated 18 United States Code Section 875, the use of the internet to threaten bodily harm against the person of another. In short... Blackie Lebowski just incriminated himself on camera. Again. Again. This is why I say your father failed you as a parent. Because you are out on the street making promises of bodily harm towards those on YouTube who have made you look like the stupid shithead you are. All over video games. I'm sick of that fucking gossip girl bullshit. Blackie Lebowski 
I'm out this bitch. And yet you're more than willing to actively participate in these so-called Gossip Girl games. For fuck's sakes, boy, you did that with this very fucking video. Forget straitjackets and medication, motherfucker. You need some shock treatment and a lobotomy. Like I said, Blackie, this is just a small taste of what I've got in store for you, son. If I were you, I'd just lay in the bed that you made for yourself. Because if you try to fight this using the bullshit tactics that you've used in the past, such as flagging and throwing around worthless indirect threats and wolf tickets, I'm only going to come down harder on you. So consider that your one and only warning. You brought this all upon yourself. Your judgment day is upon you, and I am the Reaper. In the meantime, sleep tight, fuckboy, because I foresee your future here on YouTube being very bleak. The Great Exposer has spoken.